The Bulava is a submarine-launched ballistic missile developed for the Russian Navy and deployed in 2013 on the new Bore class of ballistic missile nuclear submarines. It is intended as the future cornerstone of Russia's nuclear trad, and is the most expensive weapons problem in the country. The weapon takes its name from Bulava, a Russian word for mace. The Bulava is almost equal to the 1979 Trident C4 in terms of performance and size. Bulava has slightly greater range but a lower throw weight. Designed by Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology, development of the missile was launched in the late 1990s as a replacement for the Earth-39 RIF solid fuel SLBM. It is expected that the first three Bore-class submarines will carry 16 missiles, while the following five vessels will carry 20 missiles. Development and deployment of the Belava missile within the Russian Navy is not affected by the enforcement of the New START Treaty. The missile's flight test program was problematic. Until 2009, there were six failures in 13 flight tests and one failure during ground test, blamed mostly on substandard components. After a failure in December 2009, further tests were put on hold and a probe was conducted to find out the reasons for the failures. Testing was resumed on October 7, 2010 with a launch from the Typhoon-class submarine Dmitry Donskoy in the White Sea. The warhead successfully hit their targets at the Kura test range in the Russian Far East. Seven launches have been conducted since the probe, all successful. On June 28, 2011, the missile was launched for the first time from its standard carrier, Bore-class submarine Yuri Dolgoyukiye and on August 27, 2011 the first full-range, flight test was conducted. After this successful launch, the start of serial production of Bulava missiles in the same configuration was announced on June 28, 2011. A successful Salvo launch on December 23, 2011 concluded the flight test program. The missile was officially approved for service on December 27, 2011, and was reported to be commissioned aboard the Yuri Dolgoyuki on January 10, 2013. The missile did however continue to fail in the summer of 2013 and was not operational as of November 2013. The Bulava is finally operational aboard Yuri Dolgoyuki as of October 2014. Description The Bulava missile was developed by Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology under the leadership of Chief Designer Yuri Solomonov. Although it utilizes some engineering solutions used for the recent Topol MICBM, the new missile has been developed virtually from scratch. The lava is both lighter and more sophisticated than the Topol M. The two missiles are expected to have comparable ranges, and similar CEP and warhead configurations. The lava has a declared star throw weight of 1150 kg to 9500 km. The missile has three stages. The first and second stages use solid fuel propellant, while the third stage uses a liquid fuel to allow high maneuverability during warhead separation. The missile can be launched from an inclined position, allowing a submarine to fire them while moving. It has a low flight trajectory, and due to this could be classified as a quasi-ballistic missile. The missile possesses advanced defense capabilities making it resistant to missile defense systems. Among its abilities are evasive maneuvering, mid-course countermeasures and decoys, and a warhead fully shielded against both physical and electromagnetic pulse damage. The Bulava is designed to be capable of surviving a nuclear blast at a minimum distance of 500 meters. The Bulava's advanced technology allows it to carry up to 10 hypersonic, individually guided, maneuverable warheads with a yield of 100 Euro 150 carats each. Bore-class submarines carrying Bulava missiles are expected to be an integral part of the Russian nuclear triad until 2040. Bulava can be loaded on Tel Road mobile launchers, on railway BZHRK trains, other various displacement ground sea sub. Development history. Equals inception equals, in the 1990s, Russia had two submarine-launched ICBMs, the solid fuel R-39 and the liquid fuel R-29 by Sota family, both developed by the Makarov Design Bureau. A new missile, designated R-39 UTTH Bark was under development to replace the R-39. The Bark was planned to become the only submarine-launched ballistic missile of the Russian nuclear arsenal. However, 
its development was plagued with problems, and after three test failures the BARC program was cancelled in 1998. Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology was now tasked with developing a new advanced missile. The institute promised that it would able to quickly develop a new naval missile based on its recent Topol M land-based ICBM. The new missile would be deployed per 16 missiles on the Borea and per 20 missiles on Borea II class submarines. As the new submarines would not be ready in time for flight tests, the Typhoon class submarine Dmitry Donskoy was upgraded to carry Belavas. Key people involved in the decision to develop Belava included the Institute Director and Belava's Chief Designer Yuri Solomonov. Director of the Defense Ministry's 4th Central Research Institute, Major General Vladimir Dvorkin. Navy Commander, Fleet Admiral Vladimir Koroidov. Defense Minister, Marshal Igor Serguev. Economics Minister Yakov Urinson and Prime Minister Viktor Cherenomidin. Equals first tests equals. The missile completed the first stage launch test at the end of 2004. Although it was initially planned to base the Bulava design on the Topol M, the first tests showed that the new missile was completely different in terms of appearance, dimensions, and warhead layout. It was later acknowledged that the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology had developed Bulava virtually from scratch, reusing only a few engineering solutions from the Topol M. Equals troubles equals. By 2009, the missile had experienced five failures in 11 tests. This led to the missile's chief designer, Yuri Solomon, resigning from his post in July 2009. Alex Samsukyodolsky was appointed as the new general designer of sea based ballistic missiles at the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology. Solomon, however, retained his post of general designer of land based missiles. Explanations for the failures Chief designer Solomonov has blamed the failures on the poor state of the Russian defense industry and problems in the design technology production chain. Sometimes, the problem is poor quality materials, sometimes it is the lack of necessary equipment to exclude the human factor in production, sometimes it is inefficient quality control. According to Solomonov, the industry is unable to manufacture 50 of the necessary components for the missile forcing designers to improvise and look for alternative solutions, which seriously complicates the testing process. Solomon had further said that despite the failures, there was no need for changes in the design. Sergei Korvelyov, the designer of three generations of Russian strategic submarines said that due to lack of funding, the developers had been unable to conduct test launches from a floating pad to test the underwater segment of the missile's trajectory. He also said that there were insufficient funds to conduct ground-based test launches. Both types of testing had been standard procedure during Soviet times. Korvelyov also criticized the poor quality of missile components provided by a large number of subcontractors and the absence of military representatives at manufacturing plants. The 2009 Norwegian spiral anomalies a temporary strange light phenomenon over vast areas of northern Norway have been explained with a failed stage of a Balava missile test. According to a spokesman, the missile's first two stages worked as normal, but there was a technical malfunction at the next, third, stage of the trajectory. Effects on the military Due to the delays in Balava's development, the launch of the fourth Borei class submarine, Spire Title Nikolay, has been pushed back. Russia was planning to build eight of Borei class submarines by 2015. Only one Typhoon class submarine, Dmitry Donskoy, has been modified to launch Bulavas. The Bulava program is the most expensive weapons project in Russia. Debate about the program, despite continued test failures, the Russian defense minister, Anatoly Sadukov, has stated that the project will not be abandoned. We will certainly not give up the Bulava. I think that despite all the failures, the missile will fly, he said in an interview in late December 2009. The Russian military has been adamant that there is no alternative to Bulava. There has been discussion among analysts about the possibility of re-equipping the Borei class submarines with the more reliable liquid propellant A-29R MU Sinova missiles. The Sinova is an upgrade of the A-29R MSHTIL and entered service in 2007. According to RIA Novosti military analyst Elia Krumnik, 
this would have been an attractive option, given that the less advanced Cinnabar missiles already have virtually the same impressive specifications as the Trident II SLBMs wielded by the U.S. Navy and the Royal Navy. However, the work needed to redesign and modify the Bore class submarines to carry Cynavis is regarded as too expensive. Probe, after a launch failure in December 2009 caused by a defective engine nozzle and which led to the 2009 Norwegian spiral anomaly, further tests were put on hold and a review of the missile program was initiated. The results of the probe were delivered to the Russian government in May 2010. Equals 2010 tests equals Testing was resumed for the first time after the probe on October 7, 2010. The missile was launched from the submerged Dmitry Donskoy, in the White Sea, and the warheads successfully hit their targets at the Kura testing range, 380 kilometers to the north of Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky in the Russian Far East. The launch reportedly took place at 7.15 UTC. The missile traveled over 6,000 kilometers, and the rocket's trajectory was within the normal parameters, according to a Navy official. The second test launch in 2010 from Dmitry Donskoy was set to October 29 and was successful. The next test to be performed from Yuri Dolgoyuki was initially planned to December 2010, but was postponed to mid-summer 2011 due to ice conditions and White Sea. Each of following new test missiles needed to be built under nearly identical conditions, in order to determine the cause of potential failures. Equals 2011 tests and deployment equals, Russian defense sources have stated that the Bulava missile will not enter service until it is 98 to 99 percent reliable. According to the Russian Vice Premier Sergei Ivanov another six successful launches will be required before the missile could be commissioned. After a successful test salvo launch in December 2011, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev announced that the Bulava missile was ready and it would now be adopted for service with the Russian Navy. Equals 2012 tests and deployment equals, on August 2012 a high-ranking official of Russia Euro unregistered trademark S United Shipbuilding Corporation said in 2012 Russia will test fire its Bulava missile only once, in November, specifically from the nuclear-powered submarine Alexander Nevsky. Equals 2013 deployment equals, Bulava was finally commissioned with its lead carrier Yuri Dolgoyuki on January 10, 2013. The official ceremony of raising the Russian Navy colors on the submarine was led by Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigai. After another failed launch in September, Shoigai announced a pause in the state trials of the next two submarines and five more test launches. The entire production run of the missiles was then recalled for factory inspections. Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov told reporters on Wednesday 20 November 2013, the commission has completed its work. The causes have been determined. They are technological and are related to the production of the nozzle, Borisov told a roundtable meeting on state defense contracts. The cause of the failure does not call into question the correctness of the production of the product in general, he said. The flaw that has been revealed has been corrected on the three remaining missiles in this batch, Borisov said. Borisov said Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigai has made a decision to hold another five Bulava launches. These launches will be planned next year, Borisov said. The intercontinental ballistic missile Bulava was launched at the Kura testing ground in Kamkatka during the state testing of the strategic nuclear submarine Alexander Nevsky in the White Sea on September 6. The missile left the launch container, but the its board system failed three minutes into the launch, the Russian Defense Ministry earlier said. Timetable and SLBM Comparison Service in October 2010 it was reported that 150 to 170 operational missiles would be built. After the successful launch on June 28, 2011, the Russian government announced the start of serial production of Bulava missiles. On January 10, 2013, Bulava was adopted into service with its lead carrier submarine Yuri Dolgoyuki. See also, comparison of ICBMs, M51 SLBM, French submarine launched intercontinental ballistic missile, Trident II SLBM, U.S. submarine launched intercontinental ballistic missile, July 2 SLBM A Euro Chinese submarine launched intercontinental ballistic missile, 
R-29RMU-2 Lena, Russian submarine launched intercontinental ballistic missile based on a 29RMU Sinova, RS-26 AUBEZH, Russian intercontinental ballistic missile based on the RS-24 Yars, RS-28 Sarmat, Russian heavy intercontinental ballistic missile, replacement for R-36 MSS-18, RT-2PM-2 Triple M, RS-24 Yars, R-39M. R-39 Rif, RT-23 Molodets. References External links, Missile Threat News Articles, primarily with an American view of events. Russia's Bulava undergoes fast-track test program, May 2006. Technical data in PDF, DTIG. Technical data from CNews.ru. Technical data from Warfare.ru.